Welcome back to the UM Museum, Leapfrog. Today we are going to check out another awesome exhibit. It is called Southern Quilts, and it is featuring quilts by six different artists. Follow me and we will check it out. This one is also called Grandma's Flower Garden. Can you guess what this quilt is called? If you said star quilt, you are correct. And finally, this is our last quilt in this exhibit. It is called Trip Around the World. Southern quilts are one of the purest forms of Southern folk art. It is a craft handed down from generations. They represent family, region, and the love of its maker or makers. It is a way to use scrap cloth. So why quilts? Have you ever had a lot of scrap material left over from making something? Quilts are a way to use that scrap cloth. Although most, most quilters use patterns, others experiment, are spontaneous, and use creative color choices. How long do you think it took the artist to make this quilt? What colors and what patterns catch your eye? Do you notice any changes in the patterns? Now that we've had the opportunity to analyze and check out some quilts in our Southern Quilts exhibit, let's head back to the studio and create our own form of fiber art. Hey LeapFrog, welcome to the studio. Everyone grab your virtual museum visit art kit. Let's see what we have inside. You should have a baggie of fabrics some yarn, and a piece of cardboard with yarn threaded through. This is called a loom, and this loom is prepped and ready for us to do some weaving. So once you have all of your materials, let's get started. Okay, y'all, now that we have our yarn and fabric, Set aside next to our prepared loom, we can now begin weaving. 
And if you've never weaved before, that's okay. We are going to learn how to weave today. So step one in our weaving process is we are going to grab a piece of yarn or fabric from our pile. I'm gonna start with a piece of yarn. And the first thing we want to do is tie the end of our yarn to the top left-hand corner of our loom. Just make a tiny knot and that will secure our yarn in place there, see? Okay, so weaving is very simple once you get the hang of it. It is an over, under, over, under, over, under motion. So what I mean by that, y'all can watch me, I'm going to go over the first, under the second, over the third, under the fourth, and then over the top. Then I'll go back in the opposite direction by going under, over, under, over, under. Now it's important that we push our yarn or fabric up to the top. And you don't wanna pull too tight because look what happens if I pull too tight. It starts to go inward. So I want to be pretty gentle. And then I will continue that same motion again the opposite way. Over, under, over, under, over. And then push to the top. Do you see how it's starting to form a weave? I will do the same process again. All right, as you can see, I'm coming to the end of my yarn here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another either piece of fabric or yarn to tie to my yarn. I'm gonna grab some fabric. Okay. Now that I've tied that together, I'm gonna to still continue that same process. Over, under, over, under. Under, over, under, over, under. How cool is that looking? Let's grab something else. Now I'm going to grab a piece of burlap. And this time, I just want to weave it through the middle without tying it to the end. I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over. Let's grab another piece of fabric. Under, over, under, over, under. This one. Under, over, under, over, under. with some yarn. So Y'all can watch me finish up my weaving.
And there we have it, Leaf Frog. I have completed my weaving through my loom. You have a couple options once you get to this point. If you have some scissors, you can trim the edges of the, um, you know, the excess fibers that are coming through the loom. I like the elements of extra fabric that are um, sticking out here, so I'm gonna leave mine as is. Um, the second option you have as far as displaying your piece of art, you can leave it inside the loom, or if you want, we can take it out. So, what you'll do is you will undo the tape here, and you will simply snip. So what you want to do with the edges here is tie them off. This will secure all of your yarn and fabric. And there we go. So I've taken my fiber art off of my loom and now I have this fun and abstract piece of fiber art. I'm loving all these textures and colors. I hope y'all had a good time experimenting with the fiber arts today and I cannot wait until our next virtual museum visit. See y'all next time. Bye!